hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be getting a ton of projects done i have the vintage drop coming up very soon on my website so i just went through my very large thrifted stash grabbed some items that seem interesting and we are going to be doing thrift flips on all of these items in today's video and I just want to remind y'all that the vintage drop is the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on my website. And I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I was excited to find this little angel face planter at the thrift store, but I do not love the paint job on it. Some of their noses are a bit chipped, so all I'm going to do to fix that is just take a little sandpaper and rub it right over it, and that smooths everything out. I want it to have an aged, mossy look, so I'm just using my Fusion Mister, and I'm just misting the piece and wetting it down. And then I'm going to take Fusion Paint in the color Lichen, and I'm just going to kind of go over it and wet it and kind of let it drip and just see what it does. I want a very kind of organic natural look on this piece so i'm just going to add some paint and then wet it down a little bit more and just let it drip this is looking so good i've never done this before and i'm thinking maybe i should have did the green last um but i feel like watering it down definitely made all of the difference look how natural it looks and there's no harsh edges so i could come back and do the green again later if i want to but let's move on to the next step for now now i'm going to be using fusion paint in the color raw silk and i just want to wet down my piece that way i have full control over my paint and i'm just going to kind of go over the whole piece then I'm going to take a dry paper towel and I'm just going to start dabbing and wiping it off. I'm not going to wipe off too much on the faces. I'm more going to wipe off where I had the green. And if I want more to come off, I could always take a baby wipe and also use that. So I'm just going to keep playing with it until I kind of get the effect that I want. And if I want more green in the end, I can definitely add more green. But so far, I feel like I'm really getting the look that I want it for this piece. And I like that some of that gold is also coming through. Okay, I finished putting the raw silk on the entire piece and I think it is perfect. Even though I only added two colors, the lichen to the top, and then I did the raw silk wash over the entire piece, you still have all of these other colors coming through. And it looks like this piece has been sitting outside forever. This is a technique I will definitely be using again in the future. I was editing this video and I realized from up close when I'm looking at it, it looks very distressed. But when you look far away, it looks a little bit too new. So I decided to add nature's own antiquing wax and I'm gonna add some dirt to this piece. I'm gonna let it dry and then rub it off and then spray it with a clear sealer. And I really think that that is going to give it the aged worn look that I want. I love these glass canisters with the wooden tops and normally I keep them natural wood, but somebody has written on these. So I think since they have writing on them, we are gonna make over just the wooden tops. I think that these tops will look really pretty with a mold. This is ILD's new Dainty Flourishes mold, and it has all these different embellishments that could be so perfect for pretty much any project. Add some cornstarch. Add some IOD air dry clay. I chose these longer pieces and clay because you can bend the clay to whatever shape you want. So I wanted it to be a circle around my knobs. Now I'm going to let my clay dry in place and let it harden up. Then I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue and glue it to the wood tops. I want to keep it very neutral. That way, whatever the customer puts in the canisters, it will not clash. So that's why I'm deciding to go with just a neutral white color instead of, you know, a bright or different color. I'm using my pointed sash. These are my favorite because the little point gets into all of the details and it also goes over bigger surfaces very well. 
and they still have a seal on this piece. I can't get it off and the point gets into all the grooves perfectly. Y'all, look how cute this came out. I ended up distressing the edges because I wanted a little bit of that wood to come through and I really liked the way it framed the piece out. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I did not know what I was gonna do with it when I bought it. I just knew that I really loved the look of it. I grabbed this piece of wood out my stash. I wanna try to match it with this piece a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a black wash to it. A little water and a little paint. I want to attach this to the wood base. So I'm gonna do that using my nail gun. Have you guessed yet what I am turning this into? All right, raise your hand if you guessed correctly. I turned this into the cutest, most unique picture holder I personally have ever seen. I thrifted these two pieces. I actually love the frame as is. It's a cute little shape with all this detail, this great gold color, but the picture does have some damage. So we're gonna update these. I'm gonna use the backers that came with the picture. I'm gonna spray a little adhesive on it and then I'm gonna take a drop cloth and put it over. And I'm gonna cut away the excess fabric using my fabric scissors. I think that a butterfly would look so perfect in these little frames and IOD entomology transfer has a ton of butterflies to choose from. I decided to do two butterflies on each picture. So you just take your transfer from the backer and put it on your piece. And all of your transfers come with this transfer stick. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually changing colors if it releases. I've done transfers on drop cloth many of times to create artwork. It looks beautiful. And transfers work so great on fabric. So if you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. Look how good that looks. Vintage sheet music is something that I come across when I am out thrifting and my customers have been asking me to buy it, but I wasn't sure exactly how to sell it, but I finally figured it out. So I'm going to share that secret with you. I try to get different sizes if possible. So a larger size, a medium, you know, regular paper size, and then a smaller size. I just think that that looks better. And then if your music looks too perfect, you could always just tear it apart. And that gives it a really pretty look. And guys, this is just for decor or crafts. I am not selling this stuff for people to use. So I'm not concerned with keeping everything together. But these torn edges just all stack together really look very beautiful. And you don't wanna be counting these pages or listing each sheet individually. So what I did was I made a pretty stack like I showed y'all and then I weighted. So this is about three pounds and that is how I sell my stacks of music sheets. Now, even though I'm selling these for DIY projects, I still want it to be beautiful when my customer gets it. So I have some vintage lace that I thrifted and then I'm going to add a little bit of twine to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of greenery. And these extra steps just makes all the difference in your piece. So if you have something that's a little bit plain, just add some lace, add some twine and add some greenery and look how beautiful that looks. Squarespace is who I chose to host my e-commerce store. And when I started, my website only had one tab, the home decor section. And since starting my website, my business and website has grown exponentially. And Squarespace had everything that I needed to accommodate that growth.
Squarespace is extremely user friendly. So as I added more products, it was very easy for me to redesign and redo my website on my own. But if you do need help, Squarespace has an excellent help center as well as 24 hour customer service. And not only can you add physical products, but you can add digital downloads. You could add subscription based products. Like I just started my color of the month club and Squarespace made that super easy. So whether you're big, small or growing, Squarespace has everything you need to run your business. So y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs and Squarespace is giving my viewers 10% off when you use code Julie's Designs and Signs. And I will have everything linked in the description below for y'all. Y'all know I'm a sucker for original artwork and I just love these beautiful flower prints. I even like the dark matte, dark moody colors are definitely coming back. And I don't mind the wood, but I don't like the wood with the dark matte. I feel like that's definitely a more dated look. Also, this wood has lots of damage. So we're going to update these pieces with a little paint. I removed everything from the frame. Look how pretty these prints are. I love them. I want the frame color to be pretty close to the paper color. So I think Fusion Raw Silk is going to be the perfect option. I'm going to paint the frames. And then I'm going to distress the edges using 220 grit sandpaper. Even though Fusion has a built-in sealer, you can still distress it with sandpaper. This is what the artwork looks like with the new frame. I feel like a raw silk was really the perfect choice. Now I'm going to put the glass back, but I also feel like a more updated look is to leave the glass out. I have a lot of artwork around my house without glass, and I personally love that matte look. So that's definitely an option, but y'all let me know what y'all think about how these turned out. Always be on the lookout for beautiful artwork at the thrift store because you can always paint the mat and you can always paint the frame to update the piece. I love finding vintage ceramic pieces and giving them a new home, but some of these pieces come with lots of chips in the paint. You know, that just comes with the age, but I'm going to show you how you can disguise these chips a little bit. There's no way to perfectly match the paint color. So I take my fusion antiquing glaze and I, and my artist brush, and I just kind of go over the pieces where the white ceramic is showing through and I'll take my finger and just kind of rub it in and it gives it a little bit more of a natural look that blends in more with the piece. Like I said, you're not going to get a perfect match. It's not going to look perfect, but that's okay. These are older pieces, but there won't be that glaring white anymore when you add this to your piece. I thrifted this whole box of furniture legs. It was probably somebody's DIY project that they never finished. So today we're going to finish it for them. The first thing I want to do is paint them and give them more of an aged look. So one scoop of milk paint in the color London Fog and one scoop of Fusion's Fresco texturing powder and add some water. I'm just going to do one coat of paint on here. I just want to add some texture and definitely hide that faux antiquing job that was on here. Milk paint dries to a very flat finish and the fresco texturing powder will add some texture to this piece. I thrifted this very large, beautiful branch at a garage sale for $1. I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces, drill a hole in the center of my wood, add some hot glue, and then put my stem in the hole. And now I have these very unique, one of kind little greenery decor pieces. I 
I get so excited when I find these cloches with the nice thick glass tops and the wood bases. This one is kind of beat up, so we're just going to lean into that look. For an H wash, cobblestone is my favorite color to use. I just mix my piece with some water, and then I take my paintbrush, and then I add the paint on top. You want to water it down. That way you have more control over the paint. And then I take a dry paper towel and you just kind of dab or you kind of wipe it off and it creates this beautiful aged wash. You just keep rubbing it until you get the exact look that you're going for. So if you want more paint on there, then you can add more paint. If you more more wood showing through, then you know you will wipe it down some more. So it's whatever look that you are going for. To kind of give this piece a more of a distressed look before my paint dries, I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm just rubbing the edges and bringing back that wood color on the edges. I could absolutely stop here because it has a beautiful aged look that I was going for, but I want to take it one step further. I want to add a stamp to it. This is IOD's new adornment stamp and look at all of these different options you have to use. They have all of these borders, circles, corners. I'm actually gonna make a circle using this stamp right here. I'm using IOD ink in the color China Blue and I'm just gonna stamp it four times until it makes a perfect circle. Now, I also want my blue stamp to be aged, and IOD's ink is permanent, but before it dries, you can distress it. After it dries, you can distress it with sandpaper if you would like, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab it with a baby wipe and just kind of give it more of an aged look. I still have my paintbrush with a little bit of paint on it, so I'm going to dab just a light layer of paint on it. I just realized that the stamp that I used is the same as this long border stamp. So I think I'm going to stamp the edges of this cloche as well. If you find these photo holders at the thrift store, get them. Then cut off all of the pieces. Cut you up a bunch of spindles and then drill a hole right in the center of your spindle. Then grab your hot glue gun. Y'all check out my fancy new Ryobi hot glue gun. I am so excited to have this. You want to put a little bit of hot glue in the hole and then put your piece in. If you want a more detailed tutorial of this, I do have another YouTube video and I will put a link in the description below for y'all. Well guys, that is the end of today's video, but we completed 30 projects in this video so that is very exciting do not forget all of the products that i used in today's video is available on my website and the vintage drop on my website is in the home decor section the first wednesday of every month at 6 p.m central standard time and if you're new to my channel and have no clue what the vintage drop is all month long i thrift for the most beautiful unique home decor pieces and then I sell them to y'all and my website has $9 flat rate shipping so while you're there make sure you check out all the paint and IOD products that I have available and if you're interested in starting your own website y'all go to squarespace.com slash julie's designs and signs and they are giving my viewers 10 percent off and I'll have everything linked in the description below for y'all Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video.